Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the NEET PG 2021 anesthesia recall questions. The five questions, all the five questions which have been asked in the NEET PG 2021 are straight from the anesthesia workbook series of ADA Plexus. And they are very simple questions with uh, no twists and tweaks. Let's see the five questions and then which page numbers and when we discuss in our workbook. The first question, a young male was given regional anesthesia with 0.25% bupivacaine. The patient became unresponsiveness, unresponsive and pulse became unrecordable. The best management would be. Basically the same thing we discussed in our own work. When we discussed the cardiovascular system, the toxicity, the most cardiotoxic drug is bupivacaine. The most common arrhythmias with bupivacaine as ventricular arrhythmias, uh, characteristic uh, slow idioventricular rhythm with broad QRS complexes. As we discussed, the treatment for bupivacaine induced arrhythmias are we can use amadron, procainamide, and bradylium. But for the treatment for bupivacaine induced cardiotoxicity is 20%. If you remember here, it is 20% intralipid formulation. These are the screenshots from our workbook. And that day, when I I particularly told the cardiopulmonary resuscitation post bupivacaine toxic is very difficult to revive. These are the two points that time we highlighted. This is the important point also. And this is the question you got CPCR with 20% intralipid. So the answer is cardiopulmonary resuscitation with 20% intralipid formulation. You, if you remember, that is the 20% intralipid formulation just looks like a propofol whitish in color. Okay, this is very straightforward question. Then coming to the second question, a 30 year old male was intubated for surgery. The best method to confirm the position of endotracheal tube, X-ray chest, auscultation, chest expansion, etc. If you see this, all the options are correct. Here the clue is the best method. When they're asking about the best method, there is a most confirmatory method that is always capnography or enteral carbon dioxide. Even X-ray chest, we can see like the position, whether the ETT is in proper place, auscultation, we can see the bilateral air entry, chest expansion, we can see the visible bin. But the most appropriate and the best way is ETC. If you remember, if you remember, see here. The first point itself we highlighted surest confirmatory sign for correct intubation is capnography. This was discussed in page number 17. Okay, surest sign of surest confirmatory sign of correct intubation. Then the third question: a patient is undergoing surgery where anesthesia is maintained on halothin. The patient developed severe hyperthermia and muscle rigidity. Which of the following would have contributed to this condition? Okay, they are asking about a patient is already under halothin. And they looked hyperthermia and muscle rigidity. This indicates this is characteristics of malignant hyperthermia. That indicates malignant hyperthermia. We know we discussed both when we discussed about discussed during succinyl choline and also the drugs which commonly trigger the malignant hyperthermia. Here they say succinamethonium, cisatracurium, rocuronium, and dandrolin. Dandrolin is supposed to be the treatment of malignant hyperthermia. Here they mentioned would have contributed. In addition to the halogen, if you use like any other drug which might have contributed here, then we discuss what are the drugs which are triggering malignant hyperthermia and what are the drugs which are safe in malignant hyperthermia. The answer is sectional choline. If you see, we already we have already highlighted earlier, sectional choline most common. This is one of the expected questions. If even if you don't know sectional choline, also see here. Non-depolarizing muscle relaxants, we discussed those are safe. Cisatracurium or rocuronium, they are safe. And Dantrolin is a treatment. So even by eliminating, still you can go for sexamethyl. Clear? Then coming to the fourth question. This is the easiest question. Last structure encountered during lumbar puncture. We discussed multiple times and in the class also, on page number 155, if you can see this, we what are the structures we are starting from posterior to anterior if you go skin, subcutaneous tissue, then supraspinous ligament, interspinous ligament, ligament of flavum, dura mature, and Arachnoid membrane. Once you pierce the arachnoid membrane, that is in the subarachnoid space, you are going to give that drug. So even if you forget, see here, during the lumbar puncture, you are going to give the drug in the subarachnoid space. So that is below the arachnoid. That is there. Even by that way, you can get the answer as arachnoid membrane. Clear? I hope everyone of you got it right. And then the image below, usually seen in airway management, includes manual inline stabilization, head extension, jaw thrust, head tilt, and chin lift. If you remember very clearly, we have not only discussed uh, similar to this, but also the manual inland stabilization. And even if you don't know anything, also still you can get, you might have got the answer correctly because they are the, the clear clues where there is a head tilt is there, chin lift is there. Like even as I keep saying, medicine is half English. 
by just seeing the peak, you can still get the answer. The answer is head tilt and chin lift. If you see this, when we discussed about the war intubation, page number 53, we discussed in this position, this is called as sniffing position or magil position or barking like position, where we we'll see the flexion of cervical spine for 75 to 85 degrees and sorry, flexion of cervical spine for 50 to 25 degrees and extension head extension at front occipital joint for 75 to 85 degrees, where we see the head tilt and chin lift. And also we discuss how the manual inline stabilization looks. Manual, manual inline stabilization where in conditions of cervical spine injury patients where two anesthesiologists will be holding the patient and one will be holding front and another will be intubating. This also we discussed. Even by ruling out, you can still go with this. These are the five questions which have been asked. And remember, if you can't handle stress, you won't manage success, just relax for a while and uh, let's wait for the results and you're going to do the wonders. All the best. Have a nice day.